Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb. Welcome back to this let's play of Civilization VI as the Netherlands. Go Wilhelmina! Ah, why peace now? Yeah, I'm going to declare war on Sumeria. So, yeah, he's definitely beaten up Sumeria and taken at least two of their cities already. Every man should make his son learn some useful trade or profession, so that in these days of changing fortunes, they may have something tangible to fall back upon. Okay, we have boulders, finally. Let's see now, plus one food, plus one production, plus zero, and plus a half point of housing. Uh, plus one extra food if adjacent to other boulders. Get plus one gold, plus four gold. From civil engineering, wow, okay, plus four gold. Yikes. Um... And you upgrade another plus one food for adjacent polders at replaceable parts. And you're also going to get plus one production. Oh, okay, so replaceable parts and civil engineering or key tax for improving polders. Got it. Chichnitsa, we're not going to worry about, I guess. Anyways. Oh, there we go, plus 10. That means we get the boost for the tech we were already... That was a boost for for um, for guilds, wasn't it? Size 10. Or was it for the one previous? Civil service, I don't recall. Anyways, make a dedication. We are in a golden age, so is Mapuche. Pericles with their single city is in a dark age. Um, okay, what do we want? Movement for builders. If I had more merchants, I would go for that. Unfortunately, all the cities I'm going to settle now are going to be on the same content as the capital. So that sick dragon, dragon is whatever that thing doesn't really apply to us. Otherwise, that would have been awesome. Uh, plus two movement for naval and bargains could be useful, though. That said... This, I mean, this is only plus three gold really right now, and we're, it's gonna take a while for that to spool up. Monumentality, though. Plus two movement for all builders. May purchase civilian units with faith. So that means we suddenly have a great outlet for our faith. I don't really want to go into the faith game. We're not gonna win, win by religion in this game, I think. So, and we already... As long as we can establish the religion in my own cities, I'm gonna be fairly happy with that. So, I don't really care about the exodus of that thing, Bob. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that you still have great profit points on a policy this late. I'm really wondering why. All the faiths should have been found, will definitely have been found by the time you get to the Renaissance. Something really strange would have to be happened for that not to be the case. Anyways. How much would they cost, though? May purchase civilian units with faith. Builders and settlers are 30% cheaper to purchase with faith and gold. I want to try this one. I don't think I've ever gone with it. I don't know how much faith a builder will cost, though. Let's go with that. Now, now I'll see the folly of my ways, I suppose. Now you finish that settler. Um... I kind of want to get the commercial hub, I you know what, get another settler. I want to finish owning the continent. And I have a governor title. Okay, so is there anything I really want? <sighs> Maybe I just want to diversify. For now. You know what, we're gonna appoint Liang. But in which city? Well, 
When did I put you in Eindhoven? Oh, you're the financier. Right, that's why you're in Eindhoven. Um, oh, we were supposed to check the whole buying by distri buying districts. Yeah, oh, damn it. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. If I'm going to be buying a ton of uh, builders... Where would I buy them? Is there, do I have any high production city that can smash out builders? Probably not. You know what? I'm going to put in Harlem. Seems like a very odd choice, and it is, but if... Um, Hundred and twenty faith for a builder. Oh, you, oh my goodness! Yes, 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 yes. Now I suddenly like this policy tremendously. In five turns, she'll be in, in place. Oh my word! Yeah, we're gonna get by a ton of builders with her ability. And we're gonna send them everywhere from Harlem. Yes, 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 yes. Actually, uh, could we even buy a settler this way? Not enough faith, but my goodness, we could. And merchants. Hmm. I like this. Anyways, uh, keep moving north. You're gonna go up and go somewhere around that area. It'll take 15, 20 turns before we're really established. You're gonna wait the right there, please. Thank you. By the time I finish my caravel, we're going to be <laughs> done already with exploring. Okay, now we can convert. And you have to wait. Was that the last one? I think that's the last archer. Uh, cause... No, 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 you have two. We have two. I'm sorry. My mind can't really remember things more than a few seconds. <laughs> As you've probably noticed. Anyways, boosted banking, plus one error score. And we need to reach 112 points now. Yikes. Uh, clear that out. Thank you. That's a bit more gold. Let's wait for the next inevitable barbarian. You actually appreciated me killing that barbarian encampment. Really? Mapuche declares war on Brazil. Sheesh. And the Mausoleum of Halakonassus was built by Lataro. My goodness, man. No wonder he's... Good lord. He's definitely the one to beat. Uh, this is all sorts of terrifying. I would go and fight him, but he's gonna win as long as he's on neutral territory. So I don't really want to go there. Not yet. Uh, you're just gonna sit right there. Thank you very much. You're waiting for gold. Actually, no, you're not, you're not waiting for gold. Um, go over there and make sure this city converts. Can I do an inquisition on your lands? Can I? No. Worth a check. He's probably going to attack me now. Let's run away, so we can't. I could attack him, though. No, <laughs> I don't think... Yeah, plus holy ground, plus... Oh, yeah. Major defeat. It would pretty much kill us. Yeah, that can't be done. Bit too strong there. Uh, that one. Just one more to go. I'll go down there and pick up that. We didn't spawn a new camp immediately. I'm kind of relieved by that. But I'm really surprised that he credited me for killing the barbarian out here. Is he... He must be close. Otherwise he wouldn't give me that message. Nobody likes him. He's at war with both Brazil and Sumeria.
And he's clearly winning. Okay, I need to look up my Pucci. What the hell were your bonuses again? I thought it was just some loyalty fancy fancy footworks. But you must have won a hell of a game. My Pucci. All units trained in cities with established governors gain 25% more experience in combat. Plus 10 combat strength against civilizations that are in the golden age. Ah! Yeah, I think you're taking very good advantage of this. Uh, your own ability. You basically kill their loyalty. Mm hmm. Unique unit. I think that's a cavalry thing, isn't it? Uh huh. Huh. I'm gonna gain culture from that. Good lord. Though at this point I think it's just steamrolling because he has tons and tons and tons of cities, which means tons and tons and tons of production. That one's gonna be tricky to beat. Rocks in my path? I keep them all. With them, I shall build my castle. Oh, great, uh, person. Is it a... Oh, the first engineer. Georgia is the only one that's slightly rivaling us right now. Two points a turn, 11 points. Yeah, we definitely get ahead there. Um, are we going to get the next one before you? That's the, that's the thing. I think the next one is the one that gives extra hammers to a wonder, and that's the one I want. Uh, at the current rate, you're going to get... Mapuche's just started too. Two turns... We're gonna get one in 60 turns. We should get the next one in... Far less than that. And we're still building more. Yeah, we'll take our chances. And I'm just gonna check. The next one is probably... Uh... Whoa! Is this one new? I don't think I've seen this one before. I mean, it's too late for us now. Because I've already built the industrial zone for you. And for Athens. Not for Utrecht. So, and if not for the ones in the north either. I could get some value out of that if I hurry. 240 points. Okay, never mind. It's going to be a bit longer before he is actually. He actually shows up. Uh, the cost is the same for everyone, right? It is, I think. Ugh. Must be the same. I'm still trying to get that great rider. I assume that the city states are still insisting on the same pesky things. Pikeman, Admiral. Rider. Um, and the rider. Well, we were supposed to, I was thinking about buying a rider, but. Uh, oh, good lord. 300. Okay. I need to keep this policy for a very long time. Even longer, actually. Yeah, it might be. A folly's errand. Oh, of course, I need to. Yeah, I forgot to switch policies last turn. Because I am an idiot. But hey, we got a great person. Happy day. Happy day. Do I want to build the industrial zone first? Oh no, the water mill first. I want you to go away, but I can't really go there. We'll just have to, you know, sit there and stare at you. Dare you to move. Okay, Bishang, your ability. One more district than the population limit allows. I think I'm gonna send you to Amsterdam. Actually, no. 
If you build this, you only size seven. You have two districts. Will you be allowed to build a commercial hub? I want to be absolutely certain. I'll, I'll, I'll think about that next turn. You stay right there. How long until we... Uh, that caravan we started ages ago. <laughs> Twelve more turns. Oh boy. I mean, it's gonna finish someday. University and Knights. That two things we don't have. Mm, I feel so far behind. You finish the Settler, you can't really do anything. Uh, it's just... No, that's not worth it. On the coast, that's on the lake, that's near. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. Anything I want to build, I'm gonna need another district for, unfortunately. Uh, let's see, two settlers there, three. Did I need one more? Didn't I? I think I need one more. I think I need one more settler. It's three settlers right there. Building a fourth. Amsterdam is going to be so small, but okay, let's do so. And then we have to start growing. Into the skies. Don't think that guy's going to move ever. He might once our missionary shows up. Uh, you are going to go in this direction somewhere, so... Actually, I'm going to cancel movement orders for all of you. Otherwise, you're just going to auto-move in all kinds of weird directions, since you're all here now. Come on, barbarians. Spawn. I need more gold. <laughs> Actually, I should send you straight over, shouldn't I? Okay, Bisheng. Do I want you here, or do I want you in Amsterdam? I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna go to Amsterdam instead. I'm gonna be kind of sad not to, not to get the Muslim Halakonosis. It's one of my favorite wonders. And you can kind of get, guess why I find it my favorite wonder, because... The three great elements of modern civilization. <laughs> Gunpowder. Printing. And the Protestant religion. Yeah, it's one of my favorite wonders because I'm so dependent on industrializing. So I always get a ton of great engineers and that mean, means that that mausoleum is so much more powerful. Especially when, once you get the uh, wonder hammer, guys. Anyways, Ephesus finished that. Yeah, why the hell do you have St. Basil's Cathedral? Because building it adjacent to a city center is the only requirement. It doesn't have to be a tundra tile. Oh. Ouch. Someone's going to build that pretty quickly. Anyways. Workshop is done. You could... If any city is going to need the medieval walls, it's going to be you three. I'd really like to get a commercial up too, though. No, she's friendly. Until she turns a bit hostile. I'm gonna focus on this. Um, might want to keep that open just in case we're gonna get a theater square there. So, commercial up here, I guess. Yeah. Watermill into workshop. Thank you very much. One more into industrial zone. 
Right, you want that along the river. Uh, but where along the river? Ideally all the way up there, actually. But it required 200 gold to buy the tile. Or I have to hope for some <laughs> culture bombing. Two points, we're making 11 points. And we're gonna get it, eventually. But not within... Yeah. Gonna need the gold before then. You know what, you're gonna... Uh... That would mean a plus three. It would mean taking a tile all the way up into her, their territory, though. But that would be better. Uh, that is not a mineable one. No, it's not. So, fine. Go granary. While we try to build up the money. Got theocracy. Not gonna do anything about that. I might change some policies around if I remember. You're done. Cross the river, please. And let's see. There. Oh, that was a mistake. Or was it? Yeah, I can't move here anyway. That's fine. And we're going to save up our faiths because we're going to buy a whole bunch of builders soon ish. There's probably not going to be anything exciting down here. I don't think the AI is going to settle down there either. And I don't think I'm going to do either. If once if I get my cities up here, I think I'm going to be quite content with the size of my empire. Should have enough value there that we can get by. Of course, we still have to find our the other folks on this blasted map. But it's starting, to, it's starting to look like uh, he's pretty much in control. So he shares land mass with Brazil and Sumeria, and he's be given them both a beating. It also shares land mass with India, and he's apparently given them a bloody nose as well. So, yeah. Um, anyways, policies. Uh, wait a second, how much gold do I need for the upgrade? Next turn we'll have the upgrade. Uh, it's only one archer though. Still, let's think about this. I don't think I want this anymore. I, it's gonna take too long to get the darn thing. I, want, I would like to finish the mission, but we need some religious things, if we're going to have any, any chance of doing that. I do want to keep that, definitely. I do need the builder charge thing, if I can find the dang thing. There you are, served them. Uh, we're going to need colonization for the, the last, last few turns. I'm going to swap that out for something else. So I'm going to put that down there. I do want... You know what, we're going to toss that one out for now. Our money's going to go into buying tiles. And I want 100% adjacency on holy sites. Because it's only two faith. But that's uh, in 60 turns that's going to be one builder. <laughs> Since faith now is builder, basically. I think that's what I want. I, uh, at some point we want the um, limes, if that's still around. There it is. Yeah. But not yet. I think this is what we want. Yeah. For now. I don't think we were... We didn't start the walls, did we? No, we started the commercial lab, so it's fine. But yeah, I do think I want to switch over to the wall at some point. Building a pikeman, so we're going to complete at least one assignment from our city-state. That's going to be nice. And in ten turns, we can swap out of the uh, settler production thing, because we're going to be done with building settlers. 
At least that is my hope. Hmm. We'll see. For now, it is definitely time for a break. Thank you for watching.